Hey y'all, Jeremy French here in the field again. Today we're in part of what would historically been the Penny Royal Plain, and we're here for another wildflower of the week. Today is Radaba pinata or gray comb flower. So let's take a look. So here we have our wildflower of the week, gray headed comb flower. If we look here, it's got a bright yellow flower. You can see with a very pronounced seed head. Let's see if I can't get that to focus there. The flowers tend to droop away from the seed head um, and it has a very round seed head there. There we go. Very gorgeous, super pretty. As you can see, there's quite a lot of definition to those seed heads. And we take a look at its stem, it's got a hairy stem. A stem it's all, also is square, and then it has these leaves that break off, have jagged edges, and feel quite like sandpaper. Um, they tend to have five or so um, leaflets per each leaf. You see, one, two, three, four, five, um, and really rugged veins on the plant. So gray headed comb flower, as you can see it's really beautiful there over my shoulder, is a really good native um, plant to utilize in both your prairie recreations, um, savannah recreations, or even just in your garden. It's got a lot of good wildlife uses. The, the leaves will be browsed from everything from groundhogs to deer. The seed head is really good seed source for goldfinches and a lot of songbirds and it's a really good um, pollinating species. So it'll be used by bees, bumble, uh, bumblebees, butterflies, checker spots, moths, things like that. Super cool. And it occurs in a wide range too from about the Midwest all the way to the east. Now usually I would expect this species to be blooming um, like July to August, but this one's blooming pretty late here. Um, but really pretty, really beneficial native plant. Use some in your garden or plant some in your next prairie planting.